Hello friends, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to see a scenario where uh, EC2 EBS volume created, updated by someone and we're not able to trace who has created, who, uh, who has updated. Okay, so even in cloud trail log also, we're not able to see who created the volumes or created the EC2 server. Okay, so today we are going to check this. Okay, as I have seen multiple comments about asking the same questions. So let's troubleshoot, let's find out who created our EC2 server or updated our EC2 volumes. Okay, so let's start. So uh, before start, okay, if you guys not subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned on this channel for more technical videos. Okay, okay, so let's get start logging into your EC2 console and select a volume or select a server which we want to trace okay so let me select here a volume and go to cloud trail and in once you come into cloud trail you can see here event history option so just click out here and by default you can see here as a read only instead of that select resource name and if you have selected a volume then uh, here put a volume name otherwise if you selected ec2 instance then put here the instance id so in my case i have selected the volume so let's enter okay after enter you can see it's only a created log it's not have anything else okay uh, it's created by created the tag okay so the tag is created by user so and so okay but we don't know who has created the volume itself okay so the tag is last updated on this is so previously there was no tag for this volume but this user created the tag okay but how to know who has created the volume and all those details how to find out if you're not able to find out here okay then uh, the next thing here uh, here in the picture now it will come AWS config okay so go to search option and open config so once you open config okay left hand side you can see resources tab just click out here okay and in resource type create whatever you want to search okay so in my case I am searching a volume okay so I will type either EC2 volume or I will type just a volume okay so let me type volume okay so see here it's by default taking a volume EC2 volume okay and if you are selecting instance okay then select EC2 uh, instance or if you want to check S3 bucket or similarly if you can see lots of options out here okay so select the option which you want to trace who created who updated and all those stuff okay and in the resource identifier section just add the volume name and hit enter okay so you can see here it's identified okay and it is created on November 12 2019 okay so this volume created on 2019 okay and if you want to do dig dag in more detail okay here you can see the option resource timeline just click out here okay in resource timeline you can see here who created who done config changes everything out here okay so let's see here uh, who did what so recent event logs you can uh, select here date and update so if you want to uh, go back and want to check who created a uh, specific timeline then you can choose the timeline start and end event time if you want to if someone uh, did some activity and it is reverted back by mistakely and if you want to find out who did okay then you can just simply choose here the timeline start and end time and you can see the particular logs okay so in this case let's see who did a what 
okay so this was in use volume then it is deattach and it's become available volume okay if you want to go in detail we can click on full view record okay and we can just select a json and we'll get all those detail out here okay now let's go back i don't want to go in that deep but yeah for it's your information if you want to trace who did uh, changes in on your system or uh, who created the server or who create the ec2 volume okay and why it is deattached uh, why it is available so you can ask those questions to that particular person okay if, if you are using a huge environment and everyone having access so there is a complicated for everyone right okay so let's see what happened recently okay so we seen this uh, in CloudTrail also it is tag change by this id volume was gp2 it is converted to gp3 if you click on full record you will come to know who create who did this by particular id config changes tag created as a to be deleted now let me check the another volume okay simply you can come here and do the same state okay you can do uh, anything right uh, there are lots of services available so i want to check one more volume okay so i am giving this volume now this time and let's see what we can troubleshoot so this volume created on feb 4 and if i go resource timeline i will get all those details so we can see here config change happen on yeah we can see here who created the volume where the volume created originally what was the state of volume it was in attached state yeah so all those details we can find what was the volume type on that time okay so yeah come back again in timeline so let's go back again here and let's see this json file okay so you can see here this created on pip 4 let's see it's created on this region this was the name yeah so there it is guys uh, so coming back to our scenario if someone created ec2 volume and uh, did any changes then how we can track okay if you're not able to find that in cloud trail okay go to aws config and you can uh, troubleshoot out there you can find definitely find out there okay so if you don't know how to uh, configure aws config or aws cloud trail check my earlier videos there will you get everything okay so that's it today uh, we'll meet uh, next week uh, with the new interesting troubleshooting scenario if you have any issue any scenario in your mind which you're not able to find solution please let me know in the comment section i will help you guys okay that's it for today thanks